all people around New Gulbenis as a smiling and cheerful woman. No one had ever heard any complaints from her. She never thought but one day... I said to the doctor, please do it, cut my foot off and save my life. Either I commit suicide or cut off my foot. <laughs> On January 28, 2014, a seriously sick patient applied to our clinic. She was carried in a wheelchair and her scream spread throughout. It was impossible to alleviate the severe pain she had. I had been surviving with painkillers and injections. For more than three years, the patient had been suffering from a traffic ulcer that had formed in the lower extremities of her body. There was no solution was within the country and in foreign clinics. No painkillers were working and treatments gave zero results. Trophic ulcers can occur for various reasons, usually in lower parts of the body. The main causes of this disease are changes in the arterial and venous blood vessel and the delayed effects of diabetes. In this example, ulcers were formed as a result of both lower extremities, back and front rear thrombophlebitis veins, deep veins of the calf and distal areas thrombovid. Disruption of blood flow causes stagnation of blood circulation that occur coagulation disorders of the blood clotting systems. So during the damage of the endothelial membrane, clinging to platelet aggregation of thrombocytes, the release of thromboplasts form thrombin, which in turn affects fibrinogen of the thromb formation process. As a result, it disturbs bracing of tissue at the cellular level and the exchange of nutrition and causes venous vessel blockage with thrombs. It also gave impetus to the infected microbiotic process and forms trophic ulcers. My brother was the first one who saw that my foot had been getting worse and worse. We visited Dr. Arazu Masaiva to have it checked. I repeatedly invoked Dr. Arazu to cut off my foot because of the severe pain. It was very difficult to alleviate her. I would say it was impossible. She demanded amputation. I was demanding to have my legs cut off. I was highly emotional and suicide was the only solution in my mind. I thought that I could never walk like this. We talked to the patient and tried to make her calm. And after some soothing, we persuaded her to get an examination and offered her to heal with bioregulatory treatment. 10 to 15 days before visiting the clinic, reddening had started on my other foot my left foot, and on the tendons of the back side of my heel. Another ulcer had appeared there. We gave her a medical examination at our clinic. The results of the US Doppler examination of the lower limbs veins, laboratory examinations, lipid spectrum, as well as the latent diabetes mellitus and changes in coagulation indicators were reported. We reported the results of the examination to the patient and will start the individually compiled bioregulatory treatment. She noted that she is going to commit suicide if this treatment doesn't work. We drew up a treatment protocol for the patient during the consultation in accordance with the principles of the control of biological medicine, after discussing the patient's medical history and functional diagnostic data. My only thoughts were about the treatment, the results, and if the condition will be totally treated. I was asking myself, when I try to stand up and walk normally, will I be healed and will I have any pain? But I was thinking, will I ever walk again like other people? Thus, we started the process by reinforcing drainage and detoxification to eliminate metabolic and microcirculatory violations, achieving the restoration of the damaged tissue on specific areas of the body. 
additional injections of bioregulatory drugs into the bioactive points of lower extremities were applied. Bioregulatory drugs were used in microdoses, so we could apply it over the course of the treatment without any harm to the body. It is a brilliant example of non-traditional bioregulatory therapy treatment of venous traffic ulcers. The patient already stopped using painkillers on the fifth and sixth sessions of therapy. And the pain reduction increased her confidence and her belief in the treatment. Lots of thanks to her. This doctor brought me back to life. We reached the end result after achieving the desired effects of the treatment. On the six months of the treatment, tissue had healed and reformed on the area. Everyone around me said they did not expect such a recovery from such a serious problem. How did this wound recover? It was like some kind of miracle for them, how my foot was treated. Everyone was asking about the clinic and the doctor who treated this. Severe illness and sharp pain can unexpectedly violate one's daily life, leading to confusion and deep despair. Usually, the appreciation for life doubles after being relieved from such troubles as they are then able to clearly answer to questions like, what is the meaning of life? I want to continue being healthy.